Imagine gold not in glittering veins, but where the original rock has vanished, replaced by something far richer. Deep underground, mineral-rich superheated water seeps through cracks, dissolving unstable rocks like limestone. As the rock is slowly removed, the fluid leaves behind new minerals, quartz, pyrite, and crucially, gold. This process, called replacement, swaps ordinary rock for a new gold-laden material. The gold is trapped as the fluid cools and changes, concentrating wealth in a transformed zone. These altered patches stand out from their surroundings, marking where nature has hidden its treasure. Prospectors search for these zones, knowing they signal gold concentrated from vast volumes of fluid. Replacement ore is subtle, but it's one of the world's richest sources of gold. The secret is in recognizing where the rock has been fundamentally changed. Here, the vanished stone is replaced by gold's silent promise. When acidic gold-bearing fluids meet limestone, they dissolve the calcium carbonate, leaving behind porous altered rock. Sometimes this process is so complete that only a skeleton of pure silica remains, vuggy silica, riddled with cavities. These spongy hard rocks often form jagged outcrops, clear signs of powerful mineralizing fluids. Another clue is jasperoid, dense iron-stained quartz rock, formed when silica-rich fluids fully replace limestone or dolomite. Unlike voogie silica, jasperoid is solid, not porous, and often signals large, finely disseminated gold deposits. Each altered rock, decalcified, vuggy, or jasperoid, tells the story of gold-bearing fluids at work. Recognizing these rocks is like reading nature's map to hidden gold. They're the evidence that a gold-rich system once transformed the earth here. Gold-bearing fluids need pathways, faults and fractures, to move through the earth. Faults act as highways, letting hot fluids rise and react with rocks like limestone. Where faults intersect or cut through reactive layers, fluids pool and deposit gold. Even small cracks, called joints, help fluids spread, creating webs of mineral-filled veins. The journey ends when the fluid's chemistry changes, often when it meets limestone, which neutralizes the acid and traps the gold. Cap rocks like shale can block the fluids, forcing them to spread out and deposit more gold below. The richest deposits form where faults, reactive rocks, and cap rocks meet. These intersections are prime targets for prospectors. Understanding these pathways is key to finding hidden gold. It's all about where the fluid stopped and the gold stayed behind. Finding hidden gold means reading the land for subtle clues. Geologists use soil and sediment samples to detect pathfinder elements, arsenic, mercury, antimony, that point to gold. On the surface, look for hard pale outcrops of vuggy silica or jasperoid, and rusty stains from oxidized minerals. Even changes in vegetation, bare patches or unusual plants, can signal metal-rich soils below. These clues from rocks to plants, reveal where gold-bearing fluids once flowed. The search is for change, where ordinary rock is gone, replaced by something new. By following these signs, faults, reactive rocks, altered ground, prospectors uncover gold's hidden trails. Gold replaces rock, and those who read the Earth's transformations find its secret riches.